Creek members. Today we're going to give you a little education. Ah, nice play on words there. I've got my tour white pants on and my Ian Poulter pink shirt on. But here we go. Phil Mickelson just won the British Open. Way to go, Phil. And he advocates in chipping that you hinge and hold. Hinge and hold. Okay? Hinge and hold. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay? Hinge what? You hinge your wrist and your elbows right here. A little hinge and then hold it right through there. So you stand tall, feet together, lean that shaft a little bit, and then hinge and hold. Okay? Real easy to do. I used to call it some, some, none. What did I mean by that? Some elbow, some wrist, and then none. You look at your left arm, it'd be hinge and hold. But I love hinge and hold, plus our buddy Phil is good at it. So here it is again, hinge and hold. Okay, it's really great way to chip, doesn't matter what club you use. Also, he likes you to accelerate a little bit. So don't try to go back and then slow down. But you don't want to go fast, you don't want to speed up like that. So it's just a little hinge and hold. Your body doesn't do very much, minimal. Bob Rotella, short game guru, he's taught 12 British Open champions, said there's things you have to do in golf to get to your potential. And they are love your short game, embrace your short game, and take pride in your short game. And quit trying, quit wishing you had somebody else's long game. Okay, Quail Creek members, let's become the club with the best chippers around. 